Mr. B here. Identifying oxidation and reduction half reactions can be quite simple. If the oxidation number of an element increases during the course of a chemical reaction, then that element has undergone oxidation. Conversely, if the oxidation number of an element decreases during a chemical reaction, then that element has undergone reduction. In this video, I'll explain how to determine whether a half reaction is an oxidation half reaction or a reduction half reaction. Half reactions may also be written for reactions in which nonmetals undergo oxidation and reduction. Consider the following reaction where potassium chloride reacts with the element fluorine or fluorine gas to produce potassium fluoride and chlorine gas. To determine the half reactions involved in this particular reaction, simply write in the oxidation states where potassium as a group one element will have a plus one oxidation number. For the non-metal chlorine, which is in a compound with the potassium, the oxidation number is minus one. Fluorine, which is a diatomic element, will have a zero oxidation state. And of course, the chlorine will also have a zero oxidation state. The fluoride which is a halogen, a nonmetal, as is chloride, will possess a minus one oxidation state. Now let's write the two half reactions involved in this process. The oxidation half reaction will involve the element whose oxidation number increased. Chloride begins as a minus one and ends at zero. So chloride actually will undergo oxidation in this reaction. And of course the reduction half reaction will be the fluorine. First step, once again, is to balance the mass. One chloride and, and a diatomic chlorine molecule. So a two must be placed in front of the Chloride. For the fluorine, which is diatomic, producing fluoride, we place a 2 in front of the fluoride. On the left side of this oxidation half reaction, the charge is a minus 2. On the right side, the charge is 0. So to balance the charge, we may write 2 electrons on the right side. To balance the reduction half reaction, we place two electrons on the left side. Clearly, the electrons will cancel. So now, to balance the chemical equation, we place a two in front of the potassium chloride. And a 2 in front of the potassium fluoride. Notice that the each element, each diatomic molecule, has a coefficient of 1. So the implied 1 exists in the balanced equation. The net energy equation for this reaction will be as follows. 2 Cl minus 
plus F2 yields 2F minus plus CL2.